Hi guys, it's Suzanne. I am going to give a real quick update because I'm actually almost to my house. Um, I just wanted everybody to know that I'm 10 days today past retrieval and I'm really excited. I did test yesterday and it was kind of crazy because that's way too soon to be testing to expect anything more than a negative, I think. If I'm wrong, let me know. But uh, anyway, I think that I've seen some ladies testing like two to three days before beta and they start getting a, a faint positive if they're going to be positive. So uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day um, I should test. But I'm not going to test today. I'm not going to do it because it's kind of crazy to keep wasting pregnancy tests and just getting negatives, negatives, negatives. Anyway, um, everything's been easier on me it seems like this cycle than it was last time. Uh, particularly the waiting because I've been so busy with work. Um, I didn't do this last time. I actually took a lot of time off, you know, half days and stuff and just wanted to relax and thought that that was going to be best for me. When in reality what um, really has worked for me, worked well for me, is um, staying busy at work. Um, I don't think that I'm hurting myself by doing it. It's a little stressful, but I'm used to it and I actually think I function really well in that kind of environment. So. That's been going great for me. Um, the stems, the progesterone, everything just seems like it's been a little bit easier this go round. So that's been a really nice positive thing. Um, my hips, when I hit the bumps in the car from the progesterone, I just don't feel like like last time, like it just would be excruciating. So um, that's a good thing. And um, great, I can pull into my driveway and just kind of pause here for a second and finish this up real quick. But um, anyway, it's kind of a weird deal because with my work, we have a contest where we win trips. Um, it's kind of like, you know, I'm an independent business owner, but at the same time, the company that I'm contracted with to incentivize um, its folks will have sales contests. And I'm a manager slash business owner. It's just a weird deal. But the thing is, is that um, I've won a trip to Mexico, <laughs> Secrets Resort in uh, Mexico. I think it's Cancun area and a uh, spa and it's supposed to be like super great like super nice and um it's just kind of funny because i wonder if i'm going to be able to go if i'm going to be pregnant and sick or whatever and then also another really exciting trip is hawaii um i've been to hawaii before but i've never been with my husband so um he's been and he's never been with me so we would love to be able to go together but that trip is in october so I wonder what's going to be going on with the um, with the trying to conceive part of our lives at that time. It's just kind of weird because you have to think about these things. But we're, I'm just moving forward on these contests because I think it's fun to win them. Um, I think it's a great achievement. It also means that we've done really well in our business and everybody's making a lot of money. So, you know, that's another reason to do it all together. So, anyway... Um, so I guess that's it with me. I've had an easy two-week wait thus far. It is getting harder the closer it gets. Like the closer to I get to Friday, the more I'm kind of like wanting to test or becoming more curious because, I mean, at this point, it's either, excuse me, it's really kind of either happened or it hasn't. I read something last night that was really kind of interesting because it was talking about the, the implantation and how it's not just like a single... Um, burrow, but like I guess the um, embryo burrows a little bit and then burrows deeper and all this. So anyway, I'm still kind of learning um, things about the anatomy. This has just been an ongoing learning process. I had no idea some of the things that I've learned. It's just been amazing. So um, my mom called me today. Poor mom. Um, I've been so busy and my, you know, my dad was in town over the weekend. That went great. We went to my mom Saturday for dinner. My Aunt Charlotte was there. Everything went fine. Um, but I guess my mom was afraid that I'd gotten some bad news or something because she had called me and left me a weird text message about, you know, call me if you need to talk. And then um, she left, finally left a voicemail today, a voice message stating that she was worried about me and that if I needed to talk or am I home depressed or what's going on. So I finally, I just called her and go, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just, you know, I'm busy and I didn't even think about the fact that you might think that I'm upset about something. So um, I'm kind of crampy. I was crampy uh, last night. I'm a little crampy right now. Um, not sure that that really means anything. If, you're, if I'm being hyperly sensitive and paying attention to any cramping, or um, if this wasn't going on, I might be like, oh wow, I wonder why I'm cramping. 
I don't normally cramp before my period. I usually cramp after actually I've already started. My period just all, has always come as like a surprise. I mean, if I track the dates because I'm pretty regular, it's okay. But with all these meds and stuff, it hasn't been very, very regular. Um, but it always sneaks up on me. And then after I've started like for a few hours, then I start to cramp. So the cramping is not really normal. The cramping did, however, happen with the last IVF. And obviously that didn't take, so not sure. Not sure. Um, real interesting uh, about the two-day transfers. Getting some really good reviews from some folks talking about how um, that worked for them when some later transfers didn't happen, especially since I was so adamant about the five-day transfers when we first got started with this. I was just like, if I don't get a five-day transfer, may as well just forget about it. But as you guys know, i um, done a lot of talking with God about this one, a lot of praying. My family has been doing a lot of praying. So I'm still holding very positive that um, God is just going to take control of this. And, and, you know, He's wonderful. He's been great, wonderful to me in my life. Um, he has blessed me in so many ways, and I just see Him blessing me with this. So I'm staying positive that this is something that He wants to bless me with. And if so, then He's going to make it happen. So um, my one little... Four cell embryo just might be doing its thing, and it's just kind of crazy to think about it. So that's why I keep busy. But um, that's it. That's all I got to report. I'm going to do a test on Thursday, and then I will probably blog that to you guys so that we can see if I get a little bit of a positive. Because if I don't get a little, little, little bit of a positive on Thursday, that would be two days prior to the normal beta testing time. One day before my actual beta test due to scheduling with the clinic. So, um, I would assume that if I don't get a little bit of positive, it's probably going to be negative. But, I'll be 90% sure, but I'll have 10% hope because I know sometimes you just got to have that beta. Alright, thanks for listening and sticky baby dust to everybody and I'll check in with you later.